A university city a high school teacher accused of trying to pay for sex with a teenager is in jail tonight because authorities believe he's a flight risk. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. 58 year old Sean Stevenson was arrested earlier this week by the San Diego Human Trafficking Task Force. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes joins us now live from the federal courthouse with more. Kirsten. I'm holding in my hand a copy of the criminal complaint against Sean Stevenson. It details how the science teacher messaged an undercover police officer several times trying to pay for sex with an underage girl. The U.S. Attorney's Office says Sean Stevenson, a high school science teacher at University City High School, had been messaging the undercover officer who was posing as a pimp from a cell phone. Although Stevenson is a teacher at University City High School, none of the allegations in the criminal complaint involve any students or the school. The complaint says Stevenson negotiated a price of $140 for oral sex. The undercover officer he was dealing with said they had an underage cousin who, according to the complaint, needed the money but was only 16 years old. Stevenson responded yes. On another occasion, the messages from Stevenson to the undercover officer show Stevenson asked for a, quote, younger girl and is informed of the 16-year-old's age. Stevenson responds that he is, quote, very interested. On October 23rd, the complaint says Stevenson requests to meet for a car date in an area known for prostitution for a sex date with the 16-year-old and negotiated a price of $140. The complaint goes on to say around 7 a.m. the morning of October 24th, officers saw Stevenson drive to the meetup location. Officers stopped him and found $140 cash in the car and the cell phone to which the undercover officer had been texting beneath the driver's seat of Stevenson's car. Sean Stevenson is behind bars right now because officials have deemed him a flight risk. He was arraigned earlier this week and his next court date is set for Tuesday, October 31st. Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. Pretty explicit and shocking allegations here, Kirsten. What do our viewers need to know going forward in this case? Okay, so the U.S. Attorney's Office says that anyone with additional information about this case, you are asked to call the San Diego Crime Stoppers or the National Human Trafficking Hotline. All right, Kirsten Holmes with the latest. Thanks, Kirsten.